Hello there carpologists, I'm Joe and today I'm going to show you how to fish a tight line, a slack line and a semi-slack line. Tight lines and slack lines go hand in hand with different fishing scenarios and tactics. For example, you'd use a tight line if you're fishing with a zig rig so that you know you get an instant indication as soon as a fish takes your rig. Or if you're fishing somewhere like a margin spot where you want to get the line right out of the way and you're dropping the line right off so it hugs the bottom, fish aren't going to swim into it. That's the sort of scenario when you're going to want to use a slack line. To help me demonstrate fishing these different setups, I'm going to be using the solar titanium indicators today. They come with two different heads, one of which clicks onto the line and stays put, and the other one clips on and slides with the line. They also have a locking hinge function so that you can limit how much the bobbins swing. And thanks to a quick lock system, they're super quick to get on and off your alarms. Starting off with the right hand rod, I've clipped up to a far island overhanging tree. There could be roots and debris underneath where I don't want the fish to get caught up in. So, once you've clipped up nice and tight to the feature you're fishing to, you don't want the fish to have any line. So I'm going to get the rod up there and then show you how I fish it. Now the rod's on the spot, it's back to the rests. And like I said, I'm fishing to a snag, so I've got the drag set nice and tight. And I switch the bobbin head over onto the one that clicks onto the line. So if I pop that on there, as you can see, it moves with the line. There's no give. But there's still a little bit too much play in this for me for fishing tight to a snag. So if you slide this barrel down over the top hinge, it eliminates that top hinge movement so that all the movement you've got is that. And that's direct to the fish. Very, very sensitive. And all you're fishing for tight to a snag is a few beeps. So if I pop my alarm on and the fish picks up your rod and starts trying to go into the snag, that's already solid. So you've got three or four beeps and he's not going anywhere. For the middle rod, I'm going to put this one straight out into midwater. Say there was a bowl out there and you just want to slightly slacken your line off, I'm going to show you how to fish a semi-slack line on this one. Now the middle rod's out, I'm going to set the alarm up for how I want it to fish with a semi-slack. This is so that if I was fishing over a slight bar or a few little ups and downs, I don't want the line pinging straight across them. I want them to hug the bottom ever so slightly, but I don't want it so slack that I'm not getting any indication. So I've let it sink for a couple of minutes, just going to tighten up ever so slightly so I've got a slight bow coming off the end of the rod. It's not looping between the eyes like a super slack. Then click it straight onto the line and I'm going to fish with a bait run on this one because it's in mid-water. There's no worry of it getting caught in snags. I'm going to leave the barrel all the way at the top so that the top hinge can work freely. There's a lot more movement in the hanger and as you can see if I pull the line up there's a lot more movement going on there. So if I turn the alarm on you've got a lot more indication and the fish can run freely. For this last rod, I'm going to fish it down the margin. So I'm going to want to have a really slack line so that the fish aren't going to be pinging into it. There's very little distance between the rod and where the bait will be, so there's not a lot of slack line it's got to take up. So you will still get indication, but it just means that you're much less likely to spook the fish. So let's get the rod out and then we'll set it up on the alarm. Now the rod's out, I've let the line sink for several minutes. This is so that it hugs the bottom, it's not sticking up and it's going to be completely out of the fish's way. And because I'm fishing so close in, there's not a lot of slack line to be taken up before you get indication. However, I have clipped the line into the line clip supplied. This means that the line won't just fly off the spool in the wind and cause a mess by your rod. And I've also put on the click-on head so that it clips onto your line and doesn't go anywhere. This means you've got a tight line from your reel to the line clip to the hanger, but you're slack from there on. But turn the alarm on, once the fish picks up the bait, you will get indication and you've got that much movement on a tight line and then it will ping out of the clip and it's free to take line. So there you go, how to fish a tight line, a semi-slack and a fully slack line. I hope that's helped and if you're interested in picking up some of these solar titanium bobbins which help you to fish in all these different scenarios in one set, then please follow the link below. Cheers for watching guys, I'll see you next time.